We had the chance to go to a studio in East London to work with glass and make tumblers. We made each one unique by applying our own custom textures to them. Heating the glass made it more malleable, which allowed us to make the tumbler shape. We imprinted our designs by rolling the glass over them. The opportunity to work with glass is rare and it requires skill, so I'm grateful I had the chance to participate. The VR vases are an eye-catching set of vases casted from white porcelain and finished with a flawless glossy glaze. The unique and playful shape of the vases were initially designed in 3D software and then 3D printed. This 3D printed shape was placed halfway into a plywood box and packed with clay. A cement slip was poured into the box to create the first half of the mould that would be used to cast the vases themselves. Using rubber bands, the two halves were joined together and a smooth porcelain slip was poured into this mould. This process is known as slip casting. In the contemporary talisman workshop, we made several different talismans. We kept some of the more traditional ideas that the owner is meant to like keep it with them at all times. Initially we played around with different objects and once we settled on design, we 3D scanned them and printed them into plastic models. Using the plastic models, we made some molds that were then used to cast metal and actually make the talismans. The Cladney bookends are a set of pastel bookends formed by capturing the patterns made at different frequencies by casting on top of them with jasmonite. A metal plate of the desired shape for the bookend was attached to a speaker which was connected to a frequency generator. Coloured sand was then poured onto the metal plate and as the sand moved at different frequencies, intriguing patterns were created. Once an interesting pattern formed, the plate was removed and carefully enclosed with plastic pieces in order to create the mould for the bookend. Once both moulds for the two bookends were created, a jesmonite mixture was poured into the mould. When the jesmonite had set, it could be carefully cut away, revealing the finished bookends. During the wire hanger after school club, we designed comically large hangers and hooks. Then we painted some with monochrome colours and others with vibrant colours. The product was made by first forming the desired shape by bending thick copper wire and submerging it in recycled 3D printing materials. By running a current through the wire, the surrounding material would adhere to the copper. It was very fun learning how to work with new materials and design a product within a specification, as the hangers had to be a certain shape and size for the process to work best. We went to the Barbican as a trip and inspected the buildings. The inspiration for the crayons was the actual brutalist buildings. My design was based on the windows and the textures of the walls from the Barbican. It was inspired by the curves and shapes of the building and the way it looked. 